Hey guys, some stupid sketch show guy here with another news video, and I do apologize for the huge amount of news videos lately, but what can I say? October's a great time to be a dinosaur collector because that's when the big dinosaur reveals really start to pick up. I mean, we just got our first peek at the Jurassic World Dominion figures, and now onto the model side. We have some big news from Eel Fauna. Every year, Eel Fauna releases around one or two figures a year. It's not like, say, Safari Limited or Schleich, where they release least five or six. Eofauna is a quality over quantity company, and this year they have revealed their first and maybe only figure for next year, their Eofauna Diplodocus. Holy smokes, that is a long boy. Uh, can, can you keep that going? A little more. All right, we're done. Anyways, now on to the actual figure. Off first and... <coughs> Off first impressions alone, this figure gives me vibes of the classic Walking with Dinosaurs Diplodocus, with the color scheme very much resembling it, but also giving a slightly more modern twist to the now 20 plus year old outdated design from the show. Which I think is great, I'm all for it because I like nostalgia, and even though I'm not always the biggest fan of very reserved color schemes, this one is done well enough, with some nice little nuances in the color scheme, keeping it from being monocolored or bland. I like this color scheme, but obviously I prefer a few color schemes more. Which kind of segues into one of the other things I wanted to talk about. How do I like it compared to the Atlasaurus? On first impressions, I definitely am giving a more positive light to the Diplodocus, but that's probably because I was a bit misguided with the Atlasaurus. I mean, my critiques back then were that the neck was too short, even though that's literally the big trait of Atlasaurus. But nowadays, with a few years on me and seeing it in hand, I have to give it to Atlasaurus on here. The color scheme with the bright green and the blue face, I like it. It's very nice and bright, but it is also a naturally occurring color scheme, like I could see this happening in the wild. It's not too crazy, but it's not too reserved either. So I have to give the slight edge to Atlasaurus at the moment, but who knows, maybe in two years time, the Diplodocus will grow on me. And that's the beauty of figure reveals. The images don't really tell you everything. But for now, Eofauna has made us another banger, and I hope you guys enjoyed this news video. Comment down what kind of Halloween stuff you want me to do, and I'll consider it. See you guys next time.